My name's Steve and welcome to the Seaside Allotment Channel. And I've been thinking over the last two weeks, why do I bother to plant my tomatoes and my peppers and my cucumbers early in the polytunnel and in the low tunnels? Why? I just can't think of a reason. It's only because I sow them early and the plants are so big now that I'm desperate to get them in the ground. But if I just sow them two or three weeks later, and plant them out two or three weeks later. So in late May, early June, you know, I don't have any of this hassle. I don't have these big unwieldy plants. I don't have to worry about frosts. I don't have to keep going down to the polytunnel and opening and closing it morning and night. I just don't have to worry about that because I'm not growing tender things at a time when it's really cold at night. So, and actually it's pretty cold outside today. So, you know, the only other reason would be to get an early harvest, but I actually don't need to do that to get an early harvest because I've been sitting in this conservatory for four years, surrounded by houseplants, when I could have been surrounded by edibles. And it's a fantastic environment for edibles. And so this year I planted cucumbers like this one, We've been harvesting cucumbers for the last three weeks and we've got another one up there and we could have another one up there. And I've got three tomato plants, just three tomato plants, but they're as tall as me now. And I've got 21 trusses of tomatoes on those and about 10 of those trusses have got to actual tomatoes on them now. And so, you know, <laughs> if I want an early crop, I've got an early crop in here, no problem at all. I've got peppers on my windowsills that have got peppers on them the size of walnuts already and the plants are great and there's no real reason to get those plants out in the ground. They're doing just fine in the pots. So I just kind of get myself confused as to why I've been pushing this date and I think it's partly because I just had in my mind that you know that's the time when it's a really good idea to get your early crops out. But it isn't, it doesn't make any sense because there's a much better way to use that polytunnel space. Of course, I've been using my polytunnel and low tunnels all the way through over winter, but most things are just sort of coming to an end in early May. But by changing the way that I use it and bringing some crops to an end in April, then I can start loads of stuff in the polytunnel which is much easier to protect and much better in so many ways than early cucumbers, tomatoes and peppers. And that's things like early beetroot, early carrots, early climbing beans, which are so easy to protect because they just you just wrap a bit of fleece around the canes in the containers. Um, and so those are early crops Carrots, climbing beans, sweet corn, beetroot, they're fantastic. The other thing is, it's really nice to have something to follow on from the purple sprouting broccoli. So, and that does amazingly well in the polytunnel as well. Calabrese and cauliflowers, things like that. So that's what I'm doing. I'm changing my plans, ripping up my old plan, all my own old sowing times and things like that. And I'm just gonna start sowing everything most things anyway. I'll still do a few early things, as I said, because I still want to sow um, tomatoes in at the beginning of February. So I've got these massive big plants at this time of year. And I still want to do early cucumbers and I still want to do maybe 12 early uh, peppers to grow on the windowsills in the conservatory in the kitchen. But everything else, I'm gonna start about three weeks later and plant three weeks later and take all that pressure off. But then I'm going to use that space, the actual beds in the polytunnel, I'm going to put containers on those beds and I'm going to put those on in April. And then I'm going to use that amazing growing space all the way through April and May to grow, as I said, early sweet corn, early beetroot, early carrots, early climbing beans, and uh, yeah, I think I mentioned sweet corn. Um, and those are so welcome because I, I guess like everybody, I'm running out of carrots. 
So I've got just now my October sown carrots. I've got a couple of containers of those, but I need more. And I can't grow any more in October because they'll just run to seed. So, you know, what I need is something sown in sort of March time, early March, but grown in the polytunnel. And that's key because for every 10 degrees increase in temperature above about 10 degrees C, um, you're getting a doubling of growth rate. So I, if I'm growing in the polytunnel, then I'm probably getting two, if I'm lucky, two doublings, so four times the growth rate. And that means things like beans. I, I'm getting fully mature bean plants now, at this time of year. I'll just put a post photo up of my beans in the polytunnel at the moment. And they're six foot tall, maybe tall, seven foot tall at the moment, and they're covered in flowers. So they're fully mature plants, uh, effectively, you know, the middle of May. And so I'll be harvesting beans off those before the end of May. Uh, and that's a massive advantage because then all of those containers that have taken advantage of those two months of incredibly great growing conditions, really sunny and warm in the polytunnel, but they don't mind a little bit of cold at night, provided you can wrap them up against a frost, they can, all of them, can all move outside in late May and early June. And so that frees up all of those beds um, to plant the peppers and the tomatoes and the cucumbers. But in late May, early June, rather than early May. So anyway, I'm, got, I'm basically really excited about the potential. I think I can get a massive increase in yield of things that are really, really valuable to us at this time of year because, because we're self-sufficient, we don't buy any veg at all. Um, we don't like frozen veg. So it's amazing for us to get fresh carrots and fresh beetroot and fresh beans really early in the season. And obviously things like strawberries and things as well, because although we do buy fruit, obviously we much prefer uh, to grow it ourselves. So anyway, that's the strategy. So I'd love to hear from everybody else. I mean, you know, it, it seems I think sometimes when you, you know, you watch a few YouTube channels that everybody's growing stuff really early because, you know, YouTubers tend to be really keen on growing. And so they're all sort of putting stuff out really early, but maybe everybody else is, is sort of sowing things later and planting things later. I don't know. But anyway, I'm a YouTuber. I, I'm changing the way I garden from next year. The only early stuff I'm going to do that's not, that can't stand a bit of frost or isn't easy to protect is going to be in the conservatory and the sunny windowsills. Everything else is going to be uh, planted that little bit later and I'm going to use that space really, really productively. And I don't think I'm going to suffer at all. I don't think I'm going to miss out on tomatoes or cucumbers or peppers. I think I'm going to get those just as early, if not earlier than I did before. Um, so uh, anyway, that's my strategy. A little bit of feedback. My name's Steve. This is the Seaside Allotment Channel, and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.